Okay, first of all, I want to show um, how your Faro data can be brought into uh, TBC. So TBC is able to take in Faro data and even do the point count uh, registration in TBC itself without the use of targets. Okay, see, TBC is able to do that. So for example, I have this uh, Faro um, file, FLS, right? So each folder okay. will have a Faro files. For example, this is a tree, a simple tree scan. So how to bring in the data into TBC? Okay, then in TBC, by the way, this is TBC. Uh, can you see the screen? Okay, uh, okay, sorry, I need to some, uh, bring the FLS data into TBC. So basically, you just need to drag and drop each FLS file into this uh, TBC screen. Drag and drop, that means you just uh, open up the, uh, the screen, and then just drag and drop. Uh, you know what I mean? I can't show you the action right here in the online, but uh, basically that's how simple. But um, this morning I tried. So one FLS file, if you drag and drop into the screen here, it takes about five to 10 minutes. So imagine uh, one file is five to 10 minutes. So if you open another file, you drag and drop, it's another five to 10 minutes. Okay, so, so this is the, I only load two files. So you can see from the scans, I only load two of them, right? Okay, in different colors, they are not registered together. You can see from here. So in the 3D view, let me go 3D view. Okay, they are not registered together. Okay, in a mess, right? So what I do is I just drag and drop each uh, each scan into this uh, TBC screen and you appear here. And they are all colored. So if you look at, the, let me turn off one and just see. Okay, so go to point cloud. So you can see they are colored. Okay, so this is the data from the Faro uh, scanner. You can see that, right? Okay. Yeah, so basically it's that simple only. Just drag and drop into the TBC screen. But it's tedious because you need to do one at a time. Yeah, so, um, but TBC also can register. So for example, let me change it to scan color. Okay, so registration is very simple. So under the register scan here, okay, you can just select which one you want to hold fix and then just, uh, Go to plane, uh, plane base. Plane base means the, the software will detect uh, plane surfaces in the scan and then line them up together automatically. So basically, you just need to click uh, this. Okay, so. Okay, so basically, you just need to click this. Um, let's hope it don't take too long. <laughs> Okay, uh, two scan merge together, right? If you're familiar with what registration is, so that this is already registered. Okay, two color, you can see that it's already registered, the two scan together. Okay. So you can do registration in, uh, in uh, TBC using the Faro data. Okay, so this is a scan using the XX10. Okay, so this is where the station setup is, uh, the next station and so on. In 3D view. Okay, and this one I have already drawn the uh, cat lines. Later I will demo how to draw this line. So the lines are drawn uh, already. So if I go and turn off the point cloud, what you see is just uh, the cap lines, uh, spot elevation and annotation here, right? So all this can be exported. If I select this, I can export this to AutoCAD. Okay, DWG or DXF, uh, you can select what version you want to export to. Uh, 2D or 3D. So I export this to say 
uh, let me see. Okay. Layer, layer manager. The layers you create here will appear exactly how you see it in AutoCAD. So you can see you have the layer name, the color, the line type, line weight is uh, following exactly how uh, AutoCAD arrange it. So this will export directly to AutoCAD. In fact, nowadays, uh, let me just um, AutoCAD. Okay, let me just share the AutoCAD screen. Okay, so here I can open the AutoCAD. Just not the DWG that I uh, export. Okay. okay, so you can see that you have the same uh, color, the line type. Everything in AutoCAD. Okay. Okay. So you can say this is a scan of uh, some road, trees, and some buildings. So the best thing about TVC is that uh, TVC can do uh, so so called classification. So in this classify region, um, TVC will classify the point cloud into this different region. So buildings, ground high vegetation, lamp posts and signboard, and overhead power lines. Okay, of course, Singapore don't have overhead power lines, we'll uncheck this and just click extract. So after what is done, which I've uh, done, you split it into this different uh, region. Okay, different region, you can see from here. And if I color it using uh, region, so you can see that, uh, okay, so let's say if I just want to see the ground, I turn on the ground and this is the ground, right? I want to see the ground with the lamppost and sideboard. There, ground with lamppost and sideboard. Okay, I want to see the trees, I turn on the trees. Then when I see buildings, I turn on buildings. Okay, so you can see that it actually split into this kind of uh, so-called classes. Right, so that's called classification in, in TVC. So for example, now if I want to do extraction, let's say uh, I just want the ground, for example. Okay. So how to, how to extract information of the, the ground? Okay. So in TVC, apart from the point cloud uh, portion, let me move the windows away. There's also a cat where you can actually draw line and draw polyline. So TVC has a full cat function like copy, move, rotate, trim, scale, extend, chamfer, all these, which are quite similar to what you have in AutoCAD. Of course, the function, uh, the way you evoke the command is different, uh, but uh, it can do the things that AutoCAD can do. But I'm not doing that. What I want to do is I want to pick uh, so-called virtual topo from the point cloud. So in the, in the CAD, I can use this create point. Okay, let me just... Uh, Okay, use create point, and then what I do is uh, I put in my feature code. So for example, the curve is a uh, K start, right? And then I pick from the point cloud. But uh, sometimes when you want to pick uh, at this portion, sometimes not accurate. You don't know whether you're snapping correctly or not. So TBC has a way to help by clicking on this called smart picking. You can see this smart picking uh, tool. Then you can select this. You can say, I want to pick the gutter. Gutter is the intersection where the curb and the road surface is. Okay, bottom of curb, so-called. Uh, face of curb is actually the top, top of the curb. So in this case, I want the gutter, and then I can pick from here. So I don't even need to zoom in. I just, like this, so far away, I click. Okay, uh, sometimes it doesn't work. <laughs> I click. Uh, Okay, so uh, you can see that you have this um, road surface. This is the um, the curb. So this red cross is where the the point will be snapped to. So you just need to if it's not the the point you want, you can actually adjust it. See that you can adjust it. Then click validate, and then click add. Then the point will be created at the road curb. 
So you are actually doing topo. So the next point, uh, curve don't have. You just uh, pick maybe here. Okay, like this. So the speed thing is just press enter and enter two times. See, you just press enter, enter. Like that. Okay, once you're done, you can see that we have the points. And then uh, what we do is we go to survey and process feature code. So I have a feature code library loaded. My process feature code, the lines will be joined, then the spot level will appear. So in the plan view, you can see that you have the lines drawn with the spot height label, right? So what about for uh, features? For example, now uh, lamppost. Okay, I want to pick a uh, lamppost. So normally in the field when you do topo, you will pick the uh, here, right? Correct. This is a place where you, you shoot. Either with a refractorless total station, you shoot this place. This is where you want to create the lamppost. So here, I can just do this. My code for lamppost is LP. I can do this. Yeah, yeah. And then the lamp is created. You can see them here. You see? Okay. Then what about this? You can see here we have the lamp post, but then the bottom part is missing because maybe it's blocked by some vehicle or someone. And then the bottom I cannot see, for example, like this. But I need to point at the ground, right? So what I can do, TVC allow you to uh, separate the northeast and the level. So northeast I can pick on the on the body of the lamppost, but the elevation I pick on the ground. Okay, it changed. And then when I add, you add the point on the ground. Right? Okay. Yeah. So that way you can you can do that. But uh, of course uh, TVC also has this um, function to do a uh, feature extraction. Let's say I want to pick exactly right in the center of the lamppost. Right now I'm picking at the face of the lamppost. That's how most topo are being done, right? So if let's say I want really, really the, the, the center, there's something called a, a feature point, uh, extract feature point in TBC. So extract feature point, let me just close this first. Extract feature point, okay, allow you to pick, uh, let the software start first. <laughs> okay, so allow you to uh, pick this kind of feature. You want a tree, you want a pose, or you want a sign. So in this case, I want to pick the pose, Lamp post. I pick a point on the lamp post. Any point. It doesn't matter. Have to be here. You can. I can just pick anywhere. Okay. Lamp post point. And then I put in the feature code. And then I just extract. Okay. So what happens is that you will pick the center of the lamp post, the pole diameter, and the pole height. You can see over here, the pole diameter and the pole height. Okay. After that, I just add and uh, add it. Okay. So I can do the same thing for signboard. And for trees, I can do that also. So if I have a vegetation, I turn on the trees. Okay, I turn on the trees. So for example, I want to pick a, okay, let's say this tree. So I can do a settings here. I can say I want the girth there go. diameter at a fixed elevation above ground. So uh, normally in Singapore, we have the girth is one meter above the ground, right? So this is where okay. you can set where you want to calculate the girth. Okay. And then uh, you pick, you pick the, the tree trunk, anywhere on the tree trunk. You can see that. And then uh, I can put in my tree code so I can map the spread to my spread <laughs> because this attribute that I created for each individual um, uh, the tree three attributes so I right? you can add one or species and so on and so forth so after that you pick extract tree uh, information okay so you give you the location the girth and the spread now if you find that the girth is wrong Okay, you find that the girth wrong, you can still change it. For example, like girth here, 
it's wrong, I can still pick from the point cloud itself. Something like this. And the curve will change. Okay? After that, you can just add. Okay? The three symbol will be added. Okay? And then when you do this, uh, yeah. So this is for trees. So that's one by one. The tree, there's another method uh, where it's uh, automatic. So for automatic one, I will maybe demo a small portion like this. So in TBC, the point cloud, I can crop an area out. Let me close this first. Let's say I try this. Okay, I keep in. Uh, yeah, okay, let's, let's try this. So uh, if I go feature extraction again, Okay, this time instead of a menu, I go automatic. Feature is three, and uh, feature code is TIE, of course. And then I extract. So you work on only what is appeared, uh, what is shown on the screen here. Those that are outside the screen will not care. So in this case, we have one, two, three, and then there's some error. So what I can do is you can actually pan and uh, one by one. You can see this is correct. I can just go next. Ah, uh, this is wrong. Wrong, so I can just ignore this. Next, are this correct? This correct? Are this not a tree? So ignore. This correct? This correct? And no more, right? Then come back to the beginning. No more already. So once you are done, you just add. Okay. So when I do that, and then I so call, let's show you this process feature code. So the curve height spread will be labeled. Okay, like this. And furthermore, this uh this curve height spread. Uh, let me just select this. Okay, this I can actually export this out. I not oh, sorry, not export. I can go to uh this GIS and say. Export feature attribute. Uh, load into Excel. Apply. So you can see that we have the uh, tree and then the girl high spread appearing. Okay. So you can actually do a table from here. Yeah. 